Hey, so again, as threatening, it's always the last batch of Medill history photos. But I managed to scrape the bottom of the barrel here with just a little handful left. It's another angle of one that was a couple of videos ago. Mr. Adidas shoes, cutting gears. That'd be a skilled job. I wouldn't know how to do it. drum set, winch set assembly line. Their gantry crane. Looks like it's on steel plate wheels. It just rolls forward and back, that's it. It's a car dealership now there. I'm sure when they tear the uh, car dealership down in 80 years, they'll probably build a logging manufacturing plant there. So, you know, absolutely not. Well, this one we've seen already where they're making the shivs, and pulleys and such. Well, if anyone's young enough to be old enough, there's probably an uncle or an aunt or somebody in here that Somebody knows, or their neighbor growing up worked at Medill. Here's your chance to pick them out, so I'll try and cover this well here. Out of respect for these people. it's quite the cab on that one that's like those uh the ellis chalmers m6 cabs big four-door crew cabs i'll just peek behind that if there's i can't even read that Gear cutter and the swing bearings, Rotex, slew bearings, whatever name you want to call them. Turntable. I'm just thumbing through the other pile here to reference. This one looks different than the other Medill logging truck ones, and I can't find them. Keep looking. Here it is. I thought these looked different, so they did build two of them. I can say I think one burnt, one burned up. Subtle differences. One looks lower, cab looks lower, grill looks different, headlights look the same, mufflers similar, air cleaner similar, bull board in the front similar, bunks are shorter on this one, the stakes, on and on. Anyways. Balloon logging. I had the story of this from the guy. This was like in South America or Venezuela, some which probably is in South America. This wasn't logging. They were using this, he told me, the oral history of the industry. This was for loading, sh unloading ships. I'm sure that's what he told me here, the Medill salesman that gave me these. So they would send this balloon out and or f floating stuff in with the Oh, it was something close to that. Or was it something real remote for a camp there? It was a real oddball scenario. So the balloon would provide the lift and the yarder would provide the lateral, the front back, bringing it in. Nineteen eighties. 
But if you wanted to buy a used yarder, that would have been the one to buy after. Flat ground, so easy life. Though balloon logging was a thing here. There's a guy named Monty Mosher, Forest Land Industries. I think he was pioneered some of that. These went to Costa Rica. And because labor was so cheap there, they wouldn't yard, like they, they wouldn't put it on a haulback mainline system. You'd have one, two, three, four laborers grabbing that little line and running down the hill with it. Two of these I have documented. One was on tracks. Well, that would be it there on the front of the rail car. It was a tracked one and a rubber tired one. This was the Weston Bayshore Hotel in Vancouver, where the original truck original where truck loggers conventions were held. And I'm guessing by that truck, I think that would say H. A. Davis on there on that truck from the island. Looks like they're moving a 171 yarder. Cat 140 or 120 grader there. John Deere 644A or B. That's a Deere arch in the back. 640, 740A line skitter. No dates, but we can crack the code just by looking at the pieces there. And I lied. No, they didn't make two of them. They made a whole whack of these. And again, these all went to South America, Costa Rica, special order. You did not want to be a choker setter on these settings. It was grab the line and run down the hill. And the line doesn't bring itself back up, so you'd have to run back up the hill. Your Medill boat, I'm guessing. Wow, down to the last scraps of the Medill history box here. And Kenworth 850. Unit number four of somebody's. That was Malik and Mosley or who that was. And it won't tell us. Oh, oh, oh. Western. They're still around. They're huge. Caprino trucking. 110 tons of spruce. I wish they all had writing on them. There's a lot to learn. Yeah, World-renowned spruce. It was in World War II. A lot of the spruce for the airplanes came from BC up in the Queen Charlotte Islands up the coast. There's nothing to have those things from 5 foot through, 17 foot, 21 foot through. Yeah, super snorkel. That's a nice snorkel. It's a lot of rigging to build one of those. Don't know much about them. That one looks like it could take a whole nother section too, I think. I think 120 foot is uh, called the super snorkel. That's a shotgun carriage. This means it goes down by gravity. Four drops on it. So small wood. Mind you, in a 171 there, they could pull pretty good with it. So. Uh, what else? I'm going to just take a guess and say that's on a rubber-tired Pierce carrier because this is stateside. You can just tell this this didn't get run up here much of ever. That'd be like a Bantam Coring 366. Yeah. Oh. Bottom of the pile. Oh, we saw this one earlier as a little uh, a small photograph. This is with the guy standing by it. So these aren't something you haul on a five axle low boy or low bed. I don't remember what they weigh. It's 180,000 pounds or 200,000. They're just, they're out there. And well, we made a 10 minute video here out of the pile. The only last thing was this little envelope. Yes, my deal. I don't know if these will be too fascinating. So 
so far not. Oh, it's a fair lead. Yeah, I don't think you guys are probably all checking out by now. So. Uh, there's their water division, or the marine. Where they built boats, I think that burnt down in the 60s. What is it? A boat? Skookum Chuck. Again, people in it. Three left, bear with. Some sort of truck. Two left. Dozer boat. It says Dozer number one on it. And the last piece of Medill history I have for you is that truck from the negatives two ago. Uh, some early 50s GMC. And that concludes our old Medill photos. All the envelopes, they were all sorted when I got them. But, so it's got some labeling and stuff. These are contract prints, Weyerhaeuser, oh, here, Weyerhaeuser, Springfield, Oregon, March 1980, Mackenzie Logging, something, Oregon, 1980, Christian Logging, but I un, unfiled them all, so. All right, well, thanks for watching all these. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and until I find some more, that's it for the Medill history. Bye.